hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to power systems and uh, we will continue our discussion related to transmission voltage and its impact on various parameters associated with the transmission systems in the previous video we discussed how transmission voltage affects the size of the conductor in terms of its cross sectional area and length that is the volume of the conductor and we concluded that higher the transmission voltage less the size of the conductor which means less cost so higher transmission voltage is beneficial for us so in this video we'll discuss uh, the impact of transmission voltage on efficiency and also on the uh, voltage drop across the transmission line so we all know that the electric power transmission it happens in two ways high voltage ac transmission and high voltage dc transmission hvac hvdc so here there are some key concepts which is the power which is the useful power okay the useful power which is transmitted which is received at the receiver side from one point to the other so the power which is useful that is equal to vi cos phi the active power or useful power or the true power vi cos phi where uh, v is the transmission voltage i is the current and this is the useful power which is uh, at the output side of the transmission so in terms of the uh, transmission voltage it can be expressed as p by i cos phi and for a three phase supply this useful power is equal to root 3 vi cos phi and v can be expressed as the tran uh, voltage tran the transmission voltage can be expressed as p by root 3 i cos phi so we know that the transmission voltage affects these three parameters and we have covered this one so here we'll discuss how it affects the transmission efficiency and the voltage drop across the transmission line okay these two things so for that first we'll again go back to the total power loss in a system so we know that this is the power the useful power which is received for a three phase transmission which is equal to root 3 v i cos phi i can be expressed as p by root 3 v cos phi okay this is the expression for the current in the transmission lines the conductor the resistance of the conductor is given by r is equal to rho l by a power loss is given by i square r for a single conductor it is i square r which is equal to i r into i where i r is the voltage drop across a single conductor line and the current through the conductor so that is equal to i square r for a single conductor but we know for three phase transmission three conductors are there so there are three power losses in the three separate conductors 3 i square r so we substitute i with this p by root 3 v cos phi this and r with this and we get this expression 3 into p by root 3 v cos phi square into rho l by a so we get p square rho l by v square cos square phi a okay this is the expression for the total power loss so now here in power transmission system let us say we have two points okay point one and this is the power transmission system okay high voltage power transmission system so from point one to two here certain power is received at the point two at this which is the useful power okay this is the useful power at the 
output side do you, in, in you know for the transmission lines the three phase transmission lines there will be power loss okay power loss across the transmission lines and this is the input power okay power at the input side so we want to determine how much this input power is so that input power is basically the useful power at the output plus the power losses so p is the useful power okay p which we see here vi cos phi that is the active power or useful power plus the total power losses this the power losses p square rho l by v square cos square phi l this is the power losses so this is the useful power added with the power losses we get the input power so that is equal to p plus p square rho l by v square cos square phi a don't substitute vi cos phi right now we get how to do that now we know current density through a conductor that is the current per unit cross sectional area so a is equal to i by j j is equal to i by a a is equal to i by j okay ampere per meter square that is the unit so here a is equal to i by j now here if we substitute this area in this equation this area okay this portion okay this portion if we substitute with j is equal to i by a that implies a is equal to i by j if we substitute this a with i by j then we'll have this expression okay input power is equal to useful power plus p square rho l j by v square cos square phi i here only we have substituted a with i by j in the denominator here okay so please keep writing down these expressions these derivations as we go on okay j by i now we have taken this i in the denominator outside and we have expressed it like this p plus p square rho l j by v square cos square phi into 1 by i this i in the denominator we have taken it outside this i in the denominator we have taken it outside and this is expressed as 1 by i remaining thing it is here now we know that i is equal to p by root 3 v cos phi okay this is the expression of i in terms of the useful power the transmission voltage and power factor so now we will make this substitution here 1 by i will make this substitution here see 1 by i that is substituted by root 3 v cos phi by p everything else is the same okay input power is equal to p plus p square rho l j by v square cos square phi everything is the same okay up to this point everything is the same only this is 1 by i okay 1 by i where i is this p by root 3 v cos phi so 1 by i is equal to root 3 v cos phi by p okay so now this is equal to p plus multiplying these two we get root 3 pj rho l by v cos phi how because this v v gets cancelled here so we have v here only then cos phi cos square phi gets cancelled so we have only cos phi here p and here only p okay p square it is there so that and we have root 3 pj rho l by v cos phi okay this much is there so that is equal to taking p common useful power common p into 1 plus root 3 j rho l by v cos phi this is the 
expression for input power okay input power is equal to useful output power into 1 plus root 3 j rho l by v cos phi where j is current density rho is resistivity l is the length of the conductor v is the transmission voltage cos phi is the power factor now how we can uh, relate it with the transmission efficiency now we know efficiency of any sub system simply is output by input efficiency is simply output by input this so here the transmission efficiency of this power transmission line that will be equal to the useful output power which is p by the input power p i here which we got this this is the p i the input power okay this is the useful power so transmission efficiency it will be useful output power p by input power the expression of which we have derived it here p into 1 plus root 3 j rho l by v cos phi so i made the substitutions here p p gets cancelled okay p p gets cancelled so we are left with 1 by 1 plus root 3 j rho l by v cos phi so we can express it like this and applying binomial theorem we can reduce it up to this the transmission efficiency which is equal to 1 minus root 3 j, j rho l by v cos phi now here if you see here the transmission voltage is here this one and this is the transmission efficiency okay this is the transmission efficiency so the higher the transmission voltage okay the higher the transmission voltage the lesser the value of this portion okay this portion 1 minus this portion this factor so the lesser this portion the higher will be the transmission efficiency okay the higher will be the transmission efficiency so the higher the transmission voltage the lesser will be the value of this portion root 3 j rho l by v cos phi this factor higher will be the transmission voltage higher will be the value of this whole factor uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry not uh, lesser will be the value of this factor okay sorry lesser will be the value of this fa whole thing you know combined higher when the transmission voltage will be high so when this value will go up as a whole when this whole value will go up transmission voltage efficiency will increase and will go down okay so this is the thing so here the transmission voltage the high transmission voltage it increases the transmission efficiency okay so here we uh, started from this again so please pay attention to the derivation how we got from one point to the other please keep writing making notes so that you can follow the derivation and this is the point where we reached okay so this root 3 j rho l by v cos phi this factor when the transmission voltage is increased this whole factor this value of this whole thing expression goes down and when the value of this whole expression goes down the transmission efficiency goes up the value of the transmission efficiency goes up okay this is the thing okay this is the thing so next is the effect of transmission voltage on the voltage drop across the transmission line the line voltage drop that we'll see so we have already uh, uh, determined that for a power transmission line okay the for a single phase supply it is vi cos phi and for a three phase supply it is root 3 vi cos phi so the value of 
the current it can be expressed as this i is equal to p by root 3 v cos phi okay this and we know that for the transmission line conductor the resistance of the transmission line that is equal to rho l by a so here the voltage drop here we are only considering a single conductor okay for a single conductor the voltage drop across the line that is equal to i into r that is equal to p by root 3 v cos phi that is i into rho l by a this is the voltage drop across the line okay p by root 3 v cos phi into rho l by a this is for current i this expression and this is the resistance of the line transmission line conductor this is the voltage drop across the line for a single conductor now here if you see the voltage drop across the line conductor that is equal to p by root 3 v cos phi into rho l by a so here the voltage drop across the line that is inversely related to the transmission voltage okay so here when the transmission voltage increases the voltage drop across the conductor it decreases when the voltage drop across the conductor decreases the i square r loss okay the power loss that is vr into i this power loss that also decreases when the power loss decreases the efficiency increases as the useful output power increases so increase in the transmission voltage leads to increase in efficiency because of decrease in voltage drop across the line and decrease in total power loss this okay so high transmission voltage has a lot of positive impact in terms of reduction in the volume of the conductor material which we have discussed in the previous video reduction in size of conductor material then increase in transmission efficiency and decrease in voltage drop across the line okay decrease in voltage drop across the line an increase in transmission voltage causes a decrease in the voltage drop across the line which in turn reduces the total power loss and increases the useful power and efficiency so high transmission voltage is always 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 used whether it is in high voltage ac transmission or high voltage dc transmission okay so decrease in vr causes decrease in total power loss and increase in useful power and increase in efficiency okay so these are the impacts or effects of transmission voltage on volume of the conductor material the size of conductor material transmission efficiency and voltage drop across the transmission line okay